Hey, Nick Tana here with Hexen 2. I finally, finally fucking got to play this. I'll have more story, but um, uh, shout out to the person who helped me. Um, I don't want to call anybody out because I don't know if there's like etiquette or something, but you know who you are. Um, so thank you, Floof Face, for uh, um, helping me with this to get it all set up for um, because I was having like screen issues and shit. So I'm just happy to be playing it, but. All right, uh, I won't be playing too much of it because I do want to do a series on this game in particular, um, and I want to do some like collaborative streams and shit. So I got this um, <clears throat> to uh, to play um, finally because I did want to play it for the longest time. Um, I did play and still own Hexen on the N sixty four, and then like oh uh, oh we should get into this. Sorry, I'm like fucking wasting time. Oh shit. Okay, so. Um, here, I'll go single player, new. I did not mean to do that. Wait, escape, escape. Let's go, uh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, so, um, hmm, 69 health. Um, yeah, no, I'm so happy to be playing this because I, back in the day, loved the hell out of Hexen N64. I got the N64 version. Um, uh, I remember, like, uh, I got it when I was really young at, like, a, uh, I think it was a, a rental store back when those were a thing. Um, and then I, uh, loved the game. Like, after renting it, I made my, um, made a family member play with me. Um, they liked it as well, so I was really happy with that. Um, and I remember having really fond memories of it. Um, we didn't get it too far into it because it scared the shit out of us. And it was funny because it still kind of scares the shit out of us. <laughs> like, it's, it's really nice, to be honest. Oh, shit. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no. Uh, oh, sound effects. Fucking beautiful. Um, yeah, no. Uh, so, I didn't know there was a Hex in 2. Um, but I liked the N64 version because it had, um... A four-player split screen. Um, later, found the game on sale, like when um, there was a store going out of business, and this is when, more, like, um, when they uh, like, N sixty four games were literally like on their way out, and they were selling them for like dirt cheap. And I managed to find this one, um, Iggy's Wrecking Ball, and and another one. I forgot what the other one was. I think it was, I think it might have been Mace. Maybe it was Mace. I don't know. Um, but I got a bunch of shit for, for sale, um, back in the day. Was really happy to see this because, like, um, loved the hell out of Hexen, and, um, when I finally got, um, when I finally got, uh, my laptop to, like, actually, like, use the internet for, for information and shit, I looked up Hexen and was like, oh my god, there's a Hexen too? Or, well, I mean, like, not, like, fresh, like, when I got my laptop. It was, like, when I was, like, doing research and shit like that, like, when I was, like, oh, my God, access to the internet, and then found YouTube was for more than just watching, like, random fucking videos. And I, um, remember, like, I think I found it back then, but I didn't really watch anything on it. It was more of, like, a, huh. And then I remember, like, when I watched it the most... At least, what I, my recollection of it is, um, I was looking up older games, like Thrill Kill and a bunch of other things, and saw Hexen 2, and I was watching someone play it a little bit on a video, because I was like, oh my god, I've never seen this before, and I didn't have, I didn't have a, any knowledge of how to play it. Even if it was an old game, it was still, like, computer gaming at, at all stages, until I got my most, um, like, my most recent, um... Uh, upgraded PC after how many fucking years, I finally was able to, like, think, oh, I can play games on my PC now. And, um, <clears throat> so, back then I was just watching some things. And then, yesterday, I was just up at, like, fucking four. I couldn't sleep. I was tossing and turning, and I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I was looking up, like, older games, like Golden Axe 4, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. I wonder if they have Hexen on Steam. I'm curious. And 
sure enough, I see Hexen 2, and I'm like, fuck, I almost forgot about this game, and I was like, oh, do I get it, I really, I want to watch, like, what I'm getting, and then I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna get this, it's, it was in a bundle for, like, um, they had Heretic, Hexen 1 and 2, and, a, like, some sort of add-on fucking thing, so I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. Then I was like, oh, well, do I want to, like, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to play this one alone. Like, I want to play Hexen 1 with the Scaly. I've wanted to for years. Like, there are games that I've put off specifically because I want to share the experience with, um, with the Scaly. And, uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, they're swimming. Okay. Um... So for Hexen 2, I was like, well, I should get more games for my PC that I'm that I'm going to want to play on, like, streaming and shit. Like, actually, like, do content again? Because I've been taking such a hiatus. Ooh, what the fuck? Um, alright, I'm not going to, like... Ah! Oh, I like how you look, but... Oh, shit. Healing, thank you. Potion. Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, no, uh, after getting this game, I was like, well, I kind of want to play this with somebody. And then I thought the person that was helping me with it. So I was like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to buy it for both of us. And I'm going to, like, see if they want to play, which luckily they did. And I hope to do more like, on um, collabs and stuff with them on it. You need... Wait, wait. You need the bone dust of Loric to complete the spell and create the potion of Mithril Transformation! <laughs> I die. Um, so... Yeah, no, I was all in for it. Um... Uh, oh, shit! What the fuck? Okay, so that's just urine. Um, okay. That was... <laughs> I'm sure that could have been a joke. Urine! Urine! But, um... Yeah, uh... I don't want to explore too much, because I actually want to save a lot for the series and shit. Um, and the collab. I played a little bit earlier, because we were testing the game to see if we uh, we could even, like, play it and, and how it would look. So yeah, no, we, um, we're not going to look too much into this because I do want to save stuff for the collab and I want, like, my first experience of this game to be genuine and, um, like, I mean, I did play a little bit earlier, but I don't fucking remember much of what I did earlier because I, I hadn't slept and I was, like, so fucked up and emotional because, like, even halfway playing through with the person that helped me, like, get this all ready and shit, um, I was, like, getting all fucking teary-eyed and stuff. Because this game does give me feels. Like, because it's that mix of, like, I wanted to play this for years. I finally am playing it. And it reminds me of... Fucking... See, I'm already getting... Getting all emotional again. Um, and I wanted to uh, uh, play this again. And it playing it reminds me of Hexen. And those bring back memories of, you know, when I was younger. And I uh, had fun with it. And again, horror... Like, games like that, medieval, like, and cooperative. It was just, 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 I love the game. And I love low-poly FPS games like this, where look at, like, the texture work, and, and just, it's just so beautiful. And there's just something, like, about this, where it looks like, the whole, like, playing the game, it has, like, that edgy, abstract feeling of, like, the low-poly. But when you're looking at things, you're looking more at the texture and not worrying about too much of, like, the shading and, like, your eyes bugging out and shit for different lighting. It's just, it's really just in your face just looking at art. Like, almost like a digital gallery of work, and it's just beautiful to me. Ugh, look at this block sheep. It's beautiful. Look at, look at that square ass. Um, oh, oh, and the best part. Oh, the fucking, the textured tail. Look at that. That is just beautiful. A lot of detail on the hooves. Like, the... that That's that's interesting. But anyway. I'm only going to play a little bit more of this, and we're going to stop. But yeah, no, I was getting really emotional 
playing it, and I'm so happy because, funny enough, when I was watching, um, I wanted to play the um, because in in Hex and One, they um only had I usually played the mage because I like the range, um, but I saw that in this one it had um an archer, and in Gauntlet Legends, my favorite was the archer. Um, or Elf in the uh, other Gauntlet games. Gauntlet Legends, Dark Legacy, it was the Archer or the Tigress, if you wanted the furry form. Um, so, yeah, no. It was really just, like, even just doing this right now, I'm all kinds of happy because it's like, oh my, oh my god, yes. I'm finally able to fucking play this in this just gorgeous atmosphere. I, I absolutely love it. I'm still getting used to the keyboard, though. I mean, I, I'm I'm thinking, like, holy shit, FPS games with a mouse? Like, there's there's something to be said about it. Like, I'm not used to it whatsoever, but ah, I feel so much more freedom. <laughs> but too much freedom in the sense that I overextend. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so I'm going to stop here. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I know I have not been posting as much for, like, commentary and, and stuff. Uh, just been going through some things and just have not than myself and I don't I, I would much rather not do work than force myself and fake it because it will show my work that I don't give a shit and I don't want to be that or post shit like that where I'm like watching it and I'm like this is shit and I hate it I'm giving every post I'm giving the best I have at the time and I, I'm, like, hoping viewers appreciate more of the honesty in that than me trying to act and put on a hype facade and try to, like, sell it when I'm just, I don't believe in it. And it's just, I'd rather be genuine in the sense of, like, beat down and showing people, no, it's, it's okay. You don't have to be hype all the time and you don't have to play a part. You can just, you can do your best and... I hope that people appreciate that more than me trying to be something I'm not or be in a, a mental place that I am not or um, or anything of that nature. But, yeah, no, if you want to play this, um, I recommend it. It's on Steam currently pretty cheap for the whole bundle, but um, I think standalone it's like five bucks, but don't quote me on it. There might be sales and stuff that happen. But this is Nick Tana. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.